Wow, so it's not just a voice talking to you from the ether. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I am your host, Pepper, the Misunderstood Evil Genius. And once again, this is the Comedy Forum, the podcast you didn't know you needed this week. So welcome. Um, after that, open mic will be happening. Joe Brasky will be the host. We have our sign-ups right in the back. But for right now, we're here to talk some shit about things that happened throughout the week. And uh, since we started late because it's a black-owned club, um, we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Yeah. Right now, I would like to bring up my lovely co-host, Miss DJ Wonderlust. Yeah. And then, one of our features for the weekend, from the mainland, Miss John Cena. We in the building, just turn it all the way up. You good? Mic check one. Mic check, mic check. Oh, see, you got all sexy with it. Mic check. I am up here um, for the first time with two ladies. Uh, is that, is that First time for everything. Yeah. Uh, first time on the stage with two ladies. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Second time. <laughs> now, one time in college. Okay. 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 This is going to be great. This is going to be great. I already know. I already know. I actually was never able to pull it in college. I had to become a grown man. And, oh, and, and do hey. Grown, I understand. Grown. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> they paid me. It was great. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we just might pay you if we got a Wow. I'm not <laughs> fucking my sister. Oh, no. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't care how you're right. Yeah. So, oh, no. I don't care what type of cleavage she decides to show. <laughs> I'm going to that. Yeah, well. Then you're going to make me look at somebody's just... boobs. I didn't feel like looking at. See, this cleavage. Yeah, they're right there. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Oh, oh, no. This is going to be a wild night. It's yeah. like, she put them on the glass for everybody else. Like, oh, wow, no. on the glass? <laughs> on the glass? Uh, wow. That's an old school Sir Mix-a-Lot reference for those that people don't know. What, from um, the, another song that he that, that we don't know? Which one? I said for those of you that don't know. Oh, I got you which glass. song? Oh, put them on the glass? glass. You don't need No, know. that's why I was asking. I was like, this, you be if old. it's not, I was like, if it's not Baby Got Back, I, mean, I have questions. Yes. Oh, yeah, no. No, no uh, Baby Got Back was like Sir Mix-a-Lot's like fourth album. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that was like the one that put him on the, yeah. on the national. Yeah. Uh, he was oh, a Seattle. Wow. He was a Seattle and West Coast legend before. Whoop. And one of his songs oh, was uh, was it was one of those one of those videos that you would only see on BET Uncut. Right. Okay. At um, night. Wow. Yeah. Literally, put him on the glass was he was driving around in fancy cars. <laughs> Um, this is my posse's on Broadway type shit, oh. those days. And he would roll up to a car wash and they would put him on the glass. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're old. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's my birthday. Birthday. I got that. I got that. And she's and it was a when they wash the car with it? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Got it. Yeah. You really don't yeah. know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> no. Young, no. Lady, <laughs> young lady, I don't mean to point to you right now because you got big titties or whatever. Oh, uh, how's, no. how's our framing? Are uh -huh. we all in the shot? No, y'all good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. That's so right. <laughs> you know, you, they, they were just there, so that, that's where my face gravitated to. I'm already like, hey, You know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've looked at too many sets of titties today in Honolulu. <laughs> <laughs> I've come here for this guy. Yeah. <laughs> they here. They here. Hey, y'all took it on the sexual harassment too. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was just here. <laughs> oh, wow. Speaking of sexual harassment, our first topic is... <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, our, our first topic is Diddy. 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 Yeah. Diddy, titties, titties, Diddy. Um, don't normally go in the same sentence. Yes. We, we, covered this, uh, we covered this Diddy. on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. But uh, DJ Wonderlust was not here. She was doing her uh, poetry thing at the uh, Honolulu Poetry Slam every last Thursday last of the Thursday. month. So shout out Pluck to them, shout out to Liam and all them over at the spot doing their deal. Um, so I don't even remember who filled in that night and who we was talking with, but we went over the whole DD thing. 
Um, my, just to reiterate my take on it, um, I've been mad at Diddy for a long ass time, but it's from a music standpoint because everybody's second album was either non-existent or right, trash. Right, <laughs> so right. I'm still waiting on Craig Mack, Slavery in Your Ear Remix Part 3. Yo, which would be amazing. <laughs> it would be amazing. What y'all don't realize is back in the day, in the, in the, in the, the height of rap music videos, the 90s. The 90s. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> do y'all remember the Hype Williams videos? They'd be in all Technicolor cool shit. Yeah. And then there was always a to be continued on it. Right. Yep. And you uh, never get the fucking to be right. continued. You're like, well, what happened? And we know. Well, I know she got champagne thrown on yes. it, but then. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I want to know what happened at the hotel. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, it's coming out 20 years later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> It's continuing now. Oh. Yeah, I want I want another Carl Thomas big sweater yeah. out. That was the worst. There was a point where you would get a new artist and you'd be like, no, Diddy got him. And you just knew that you were never gonna hear from them again. Like it was just that's they hit that's where what music music careers went to die. And yeah. you just knew. Or music careers came out of nowhere, they became the hottest thing on the planet and they didn't then disappeared. You're like, right. what? So, what's I'm I'm in, I'm interested. I'm I'm here. I'm intrigued. Where'd you and go? You see these people, but you don't hear these people. No. Yeah. I'm still wait. I, I miss B5. B5 had like five seconds, <laughs> and I really wanted to hear that next album. Did it even come out with album or was it just a single? Uh, I don't even know who B5 is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm 45. You I know rest my know. case. Name <laughs> y'all feels. <laughs> That was one of the ancillary groups. <laughs> oh, man. They were like, they were, I feel like they were positioned, they were, he was trying to position them to be kind of like a Jackson 5, like, because it was a family, like a, okay. a brothers, um, and they even had like a cover of All I Do Is Think Of You, and oh. it, was, it was pretty cute. And it was like kind of around the same time as like Sammy and Bow Wow, and I think, oh, okay. it might have come out a little bit after that. He was Lil Bow Wow then. Yeah. It, has, it was, Lil Bow Wow then, for sure. <laughs> Um, and so that was around that time, and but I think even then we knew, like, damn. Well, I guess we should just enjoy it while while we got it, cause yeah. um, this is probably gonna be the last single we get from them. Aww. Yeah. yeah, we only had one season of making the band. <laughs> we should have known though. Yeah, he was like, get, get the cheesecake now. <laughs> should have known he was out here just doing anything. Yeah, Chappelle's skit is just so classic. <laughs> right, it's right. It's just like, go uptown and I need breast milk. <laughs> you made my day. Oh my gosh. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah. I ain't gonna hold you though. What's that? I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know if y'all have experience. Diddy's parties do be lit. No. <laughs> Word? Um, <laughs> I am a Q dog. So I've experienced some stuff close to Freaknik. Uh -oh. If y'all watch that documentary, but um, not on the fanciness of Diddy. Yeah. I, Diddy I, I, would I, dress it up and make it pretty and fancy. And you in that Hollywood music. world. Yeah. Of, of I'm actually whatnot. from Washington, D.C. And, um, mm -hmm. I was a couple of freak minks back in the day. Am I, am I same age? <laughs> yeah. You said four or five? Huh? huh? I okay. went to a couple. You said what? I was a young hoe. Back in my teens, I was sneaking on Good. <laughs> so the last freak nick was 98, 99, and I was just 21 then. Oh, oh wow. So, yeah, you... You were a young hoe if you was there. Yeah, no, no. We were about the same age, because yeah. I graduated in 96. Yeah, same. We graduated in 96. Yeah, we were about the same age. We same. Yeah. Yeah. You might have been held back, though, maybe? No. Never. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely not. I ended up becoming I an honorable teacher. She said, I own a very smart. I just know Freak Nick was wild. I was watching that thing like, Lord, please, I am, oh my God, I'm like this close from being super famous. Please don't let me be on this bullshit right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. I saw a couple people though. Oh, you did? Did you do? What? Oh, yeah. I was like, oh my God. I wonder where she is now. <laughs> She's like fat like me. Oh, but she looked good though back in 93. Some of the organizers from DC too, 
Yeah, yeah they all yeah. were. That's where it, came, it started. That's where it started. From the organized Or is that my hearing? Sorry. Huh? I felt like we lost you. Is that my hearing? No. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. I'm here. I'm old. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know why the hell I do that voice. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody inside me trying to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you did that voice while you was looking at her titties. Oh, <laughs> that was interesting. Damn. I don't recall that. <laughs> that. <laughs> like, I have enough titties that nobody's titties make me sweat. Please. I didn't see titties for a long time. Titties about to retreat. God damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a very observant man. Did you just pull your drawers from underneath your dress and hang them, put them in his pocket? That was amazing. Oh, 
been here for almost two years. That's the first thing anyone's thrown on stage. Right. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what, Thank you. because you do it on stage, because them bras are expensive after a certain point. No, no, no. Like, my my bras ain't, ain't no way I can throw it anywhere. They're no. too happy. They're too happy. <laughs> 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 they're too happy. They're too happy. They're too happy. Bras are expensive. I always thought I was watching people when they throw them on stage. I was like, I'm going to get them back because they're so expensive. I can't like, take mine off without help. So I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I need help. Ancestors and everybody got to get this. You got to pray. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be nightlight town. For real. I need a sex. So how does that work if like, nobody's there? Do you got like a special hook on the, on the dresser? Uh, ain't nobody there that bro stay on the bro. <laughs> No, 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 seriously, no, this is, this is, I swear to God, y'all, this happened about three weeks ago. My, um, I don't want to sound booty, so, one of my friends, <laughs> I didn't want to say, my stylist, I just, fuck it, but she got me this one piece, Okay. and I was stuck in it. Oh, no. I went home, I literally had to walk around my apartment <laughs> complex to find the security guard, this little young white boy. I was like, excuse me. He's no. like, hey, John C. I'm like, hey. Can you unzip it? This. <laughs> I came out and I gotta pee like right. <laughs> 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 it was like three in the morning. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, I promise I'm not hitting on you. I just need to get this thing. Please, I'm so glad uh, to find you. I've been looking for you 20 minutes. <laughs> It might be one of those drinks where you just jump in the pool in the whole outfit and be like, I had to pee. I was in the pistol, underwear, girdle, and that dang little thing. Oh, no. I was sitting in the pool. You would have been sitting in that. You I was like, so that. please find some, anybody just walk out of your apartment or something. Uh, right. He was laughing, but he helped me out. Uh, <laughs> and I will not wear it again. <laughs> I bet you won't. Um, now, see, if you had gone to a Diddy party, somebody would have helped you. You know what? Right? I, I, I ran from a Diddy party. That's why. Oh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> some other people, some other celebrities that got some parties that, in LA that you be like, don't, don't go to their party. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna say their names, but ooh, don't go, cause you stuck. Oh, but they're no. not messy like Diddy, though. Ooh. I so don't like, know. Like, no, I mean messy as in that shit's gonna come out and get them. Well, or maybe I what? guess Diddy didn't think his was gonna come out. He's probably been doing this for years. But the okay. thing about, but the thing about it is, he's always, he's never been hiding. You know what I mean? Like he's always been in plain sight with the things that he's done that are messy, including his parties. I've heard about his parties before now. I, 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 you know, there was no reason for me to inquire any further. But you know what I'm saying? People have been talking about it for a long time. Oh, there's some crazy it's parties. It's a lot of people. It's not just Diddy. Oh, I'm sure. Man, it's, it's probably everyone in Los Angeles. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> well, everyone but me. My birthday party is <laughs> Sunday at the house. At the Hyatt, bring it wrong. I get it. I get it. <laughs> that was gold and sparkly yeah, too. Was, it was the cutest little thing. It was the cutest little thing. I think it was Wonder Woman's first bra. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. The training bra. Yeah, remember those? I remember those. In third grade? Seven. Well, I tell you, I got you my Sharita. first set of titties. Yes, Kanoa, please cover the bar. <laughs> well, from God. From people just in there. Thank you. First set. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, I mean, the world's a dangerous place, and you can either go to a Diddy party or you can go to an OJ party. <laughs> which one? Which one, one you'll one? come out alive. <laughs> which one would you prefer? Which you need a bath. The other one you ain't coming back. Yeah. No. Um, it's too many. We gotta go easy on the OJ thing, y'all. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna put this disclaimer out right now. Go ahead. I have not written any OJ jokes at all. <laughs> so anything that happens, I've been busy today trying to handle business, run around, take care of family, take care of health. I have seen the memes non-stop. And it's one of those things for me, when a certain topic comes out, I know I gotta have some jokes on it, but I want everybody else to get all their cliche whatever this jokes out first, and then I come back around and be like, okay, what, what did people miss off of this? However, the OJ shit has been the most brutal shit that I've seen in a while. Well, I just want to say this, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this disclaimer. I'm not racist. You know, that's what white people say. For this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not white people, I just want to say I'm not racist. <laughs> 
I just want you to know. And I don't know black people if we're allowed to talk about this to this level, but uh, now that he's gone, can we admit what happened or no? I still family business. <laughs> That's on the OJ joke, I got. Is it still family business or can we tell them what really happened? Because they think he did it, but we know who really did it. But we don't wanna we don't wanna ruin you guys. It's just let the man die first. Look, I'll tell you right All now. The way. All the way. I'll tell you right now, I don't think OJ did it. I know who did it. it was I think he stood right there and watched him. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah, get her again. Or he got the phone call. Oh, <laughs> yeah, get home. No. Go from no. the side this time. Thank you. Okay, oh, cool. No. <laughs> then I think he paid them people. <laughs> but I don't think he was. I don't know about paid them, but. Well, uh, you know. Not, not the person that did it. <laughs> I'm my theory, guys. Okay. So many white people, they look intrigued. Like, who, what happened? <laughs> well. Go ahead. Go now, ahead. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How far is this video going? <laughs> How many people on there, babe? No. Uh, um, I honestly think his son did it. You think his son did it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Holy I honestly God. think his son did it. Now, see, I won't lie. I have not watched the documentaries. I haven't watched any of this shit. I lived through the trial. We had to study this shit for school see, and whatnot. About, yeah, I, but, the trial was my senior year. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. I remember it was, yeah. matter of fact, I had just graduated June 12th hmm? when he got the verdict, I think. I remember like it was yesterday because, yeah. whoa, the white people really was pissed off. Oh, you hear me? So, we were yeah. celebrating, black people were celebrating like it was, we hit the Powerball, didn't we? What the fuck did we win, uh, by the way? That yeah. <laughs> day we felt great. I don't know what was going on with the world at that time. OJ, man. I was in private white school in Arizona. Damn. Oh, I <laughs> almost got killed in this. <laughs> All of us were in school. I'll tell you where I was in school, but for a moment, what uh, what happened? How did you find out? Did somebody come in the classroom? Was it over the intercom? I was actually in school. I was, I was at home. home. Yeah. I was at home when the oh, I was in family. I was in school. Um, yeah, you were young, young. I was. I was in computer lab mm. uh, in elementary school. That yeah. used to be the only place that people had computers, young people. Computer it, was lab. Lab. it was a lab. <laughs> and they were like, they were like have no. computers on your phone because you didn't have the fucking let me, phone. Let me smooth it out a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll be old with y'all for a minute. Okay. I only was in a computer lab, but it was them cube. Macintosh computers oh. with the floppy disk on yeah. it. All right. Um, wow, you were three years old. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're older than I think I mean, you were. I was third grade. I was third grade. I was, I'm 38. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was um, 37. I haven't turned 38 yet. It's coming, though. Um, so what? Yeah, it's about to slap me upside the face. But, um, but yeah, um, so I was in it. But so I was in a predominantly white elementary school, but my teachers were predominantly black women. And I remember I heard Miss Bright's uh, um, voice <coughs> over the intercom. And I could hear the matter of fact in her voice as she gave the verdict for the whole school. So it was announced <laughs> to the whole school. Why did third grade need to know if all this is we were following the, the it same was, reason we yeah. needed to know that the Challenger shuttle exploded. I'm at school. Yeah. Don't tell me this shit. <laughs> yeah. Which I believe to this day was fake. But you know, oh, that's, oh, that, that's oh, a different kind of book. One of my frat brothers was in there. No. Yeah. Uh, was, yeah. You think it was real? Yeah. No, you was in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ronald McNair. First yeah. black astronaut, first black guy in space, Al Gill. So. Did you have a film? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you say it, then I have to believe you. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, I swear to have people walking around today. I like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you were at his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't at his funeral. I know he had a funeral. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah so they, they announced it to the whole school. And uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know why I didn't think that that was, you know, like you just kind of. You was in third grade, you didn't care less. No, but they were, they, but they, see, the thing about it is all of them black teachers were oh, waiting. Yeah. To hear, they, there was a way to get the news. It was the big news thing that everybody was following at the time. I think they probably did the same thing for um, Clinton's impeachment. Um, they probably did the same yeah. thing for Clinton, back Clinton's impeachment days, yeah. back in those days too. There were certain things like certain big, break, you know, breaking news items. Wow, you know? what was this at? This what? was why, this was DC. Really? Yeah. Here's yeah. what I don't understand about it. Um, yeah. That's why I say DC we didn't do that, but never mind. Like, <laughs> like, maybe I was high. It was, yeah. it was her. When oh. certain people die in society and we don't like them, we normally just ignore it. Yeah. 
This one has been disrespected from black and white people. Just everyone's just like, well, fuck them. On behalf of blacks, we just <laughs> we just play too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we're, we're really making funny memes. We we, we, we don't take shit. White people mad and shit still. They've been mad <laughs> the whole twenty years. <laughs> twenty six years they've been pissed. How dare they get off like we do all the time? Right, right. <laughs> one time, the one time they should have really went down. And um, you know, and you know, we like, you think he did it too, but he got off like we. Just, like, <laughs> There was so much showboating around it too. You remember like yeah. the celebrations outside of it, and it was like people weren't celebrating them getting off. They were celebrating like a just kind of we finally won. You know, like the scale was just yeah. a little bit more tipped, even in a fucked up way. We didn't care. It was like we just we we but, needed. And the funny it, thing is, we needed this my one. family. I'm like the baby of six. Okay, so there's there's my mom, my dad, all the, my siblings, and everything. We're up here telling them what they did wrong. We try to let them see the glove thing. Right. They know they shouldn't have did that. Right. They still don't take glove. All types of stuff, man. They oh yeah, them. you shouldn't have had the cop in. The, uh, mm -hmm. Saying nigga on the on the uh, on yeah the yeah you might have had a chance if you had done that. that. It's like you can't have a you know we always get you with the n word guys yeah. that's all we got <laughs> 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 we ain't giving it to you as much as you want it no. no. <laughs> that's all we got <laughs> um I saw one on NFLmemes.com and it just had a whole bunch of OJ lined up and it had expired April 11th and I was oh. like God damn. Oh! <laughs> it just, oh. just showed a picture of like the orange juice in the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> and it just the said thing. expired the wow. April 11th. So, so, like, wow. so a lot of like, <laughs> yeah. and a lot of black folks are indifferent about it because I'm black, I'm not black, I'm OJ. He didn't yeah. even claim blackness. He We're like, all right. He didn't fuck with black people, except for AC. Except during his trip. No, no, he, he did. Oh, yeah. He eventually came on over to our side. You just went to the Spanish trying to do right now. I think the second trip. Trying to slide on over to us. Yeah. Now. No, don't come. No, no, don't back over to your people. Please, steal me. <laughs> OJ was like, wait, wait, wait. He right. Know, was like, <laughs> he didn't know his son was going to really do it, though. When he called him, he was like, man, kill this bitch. He didn't let people drive my car and all that. He was like, all right, dad. Woke up with his clothes on. OJ driving like you dumb. That's why they ate a Bronco. I'm trying to tell y'all who did it. But. <laughs> <laughs> now that he's gone, we can talk about it. I like that theory. I, I'm gonna actually think go, about it though. I'm gonna actually go and do the uh, do the do the work. Like I said, I never watched any of the documentaries. But what about he wrote a book though? Something about if I did, I did it. Yeah. This, this is the most I'm... trolling ass thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> 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 I was like, you gonna go to hell. Hey, he had to pay for her wrongful death lawsuit somehow. <laughs> well, it worked. Because <laughs> they still got him on the back. Well, I wonder how much that book grossed. I am curious. I am very curious how much that book. Y'all have devices. You can look it up. For how, about, how about he had cancer over the news? Okay, we've done a lot yeah. of black topics today. So <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to fade out. <laughs> 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 We're losing them. We're losing them. Start talking about spaghetti with no sauce. <laughs> Get him back. <laughs> And our last black Chicken. topic of the night, right? <laughs> yes. Um, so, backstory. A couple weeks ago, a song came out where Kendrick Lamar jumped on the song, and it's pretty much a well-known thing in the rap world right now because everyone has lost their creativity and their uh, right. the. Uh, Everything sounds a lot of the same as far as what you hear across the radio stations and whatnot. So it's a pretty much given fact that J. Cole, Drake, and um, Kendrick Lamar are the top three rappers on the planet. When you look at album sales, when you look at lyrical, when you look at all of the above, it's just a hands down, they're the top three on the planet. Cool, no problem with that. Um, Kendrick did a verse on somebody's deal was like, Man, fuck the big three. It's just big me. <laughs> and just, just toss some shots at Drake and J. Cole. Kind of like a friendly competition. Like yeah. it, it's, it was kind of considered like as comics as we might roast the comic that went before us or right. make fun of somebody. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not like harsh, whatever. But right. yeah, I might crack a joke on one of the comics doing it. Right. Well, OJ, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we know what 
no Biggie Tupac shots gonna be fired. It was right. just gonna be a lyrical. You forgot to say the J. Cole first yes. had, had wrote a song saying that he was the big three, yeah. right? He was in yeah. there like, yeah, it was a big mm-hmm. three. So it seemed like he was paying homage to them. Yeah. yeah. And Kim was like, man, you got something on Y'all yeah. ain't nothing. Yeah. So then J. Cole came out with a verse uh, uh, over the weekend of dissing Kendrick Lamar. Um, it was a good rap. However, from my opinion, mm-hmm. it wasn't believable. Nope. Mm-hmm. It was like it was like it was, it was a like, good battle rap deal, mm-hmm. but it was like, okay, the stuff you're saying, we buy that for other people, but you. when you put in Kendrick Lamar's, that doesn't really fit on yeah. on a lot of what he's saying. Whatever. We don't. It was basically we don't think you believe what you just wrote, right? No, nah, he, <laughs> he, he did. He just wrote the shit out. He just wrote. Well, name his term. It was uh, fried chicken and butter with salt and pepper. Yeah, you go. Yeah. 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 So then Sunday at his own <laughs> concert, uh, J Cole came out and was just like, "Hey, I apologize. I was just a bad spirit. I'm just. I'm not in it. This is dumb. This is bullshit. I'm not." It's, it's, I'm not right with my it's like when you're walking yeah. on stage and you're like, yeah. you know what, no one's left. You know what? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that joke don't go over. Right. Right. Except, except, he was trying, except he was trying to say he was apologizing because, you know, the, 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 the battle part didn't sit right with his spirit. He wasn't, he wasn't apologizing for them whack-ass bars. Right. He was apologizing for, he was like, oh, it just it wasn't in my spirit. So I'm like, okay, see. Yeah. This is the come to Jesus you should have had before you you put out the <laughs> facts because yeah. them bars were listen for him to the audacity to make a comment about uh, it being like sleepy or lackluster or whatever sleepy like sleepy bars out of the two of them out of the two of them I'm sorry J Cole like you don't call nobody sleepy I've had I've heard some sleepy bars. other than features. Other than features, I'm sorry. Like Jake most. Fire, but... <sighs> I, I, they both did it. I don't have he... nothing, nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do with what we're talking about. That. <laughs> that, 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 K dot if to you me, do the best on it. To me, J. Cole has the Nas problem. Okay. Whereas Nas is an all time great MC, has some dope ass songs, but there's always a point in a Nas album where you're gonna fall asleep. <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> there's always like three to four tracks where you just like, man, I wish you had some dope beats yeah. like Jay Z or somebody or yeah. some some other club bangers or whatever. Nobody in the history of the nightclub has been sitting out and been like outside of two Nas songs, been like, oh, bang that new Nas. We about, no. to, we about to get broke up. I bang Nas. We about to listen to the whole deal. But but the thing was, one of one of J. Cole's lines was that Kendrick Lamar's third album was boring. That's what I'm saying. Like, and I'm like, J. Cole, that's like four of your six that's albums. That's my point. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate what I was trying to say. Y'all real quiet. I got a little nervous. Yeah, but yes. How dare you? <laughs> that's how dare you say like, as good as the MC <laughs> you, got as you are, sleep. you put out some boring you, ass shit. You got the sleepy <laughs> tracks Ooh, for yeah. you to be talking about other people's sleepy tracks. Yes. You know? But then also, I think, I, I do think, I, and I'm not saying I, I do really like a lot of J. Cole's stuff. I think that he has the worst fans. I think his fans be the ones sitting there like, nah, that went you over think your his head. His fans are worse than Drake's fans. No, his. I know. I didn't say the worst fans in like comparison to. I'm just okay. saying his fan. Drake's fans are weird. Yeah. Jay Cole's fans are about as deep as a kiddie pool, in general. But they think they super. That they think they're super deep. <laughs> and I'm just saying stereotypically, as somebody who does enjoy listening to this very cold stuff, but some of that stuff. Mm. Besides the fans that want to fuck him. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> all of them. Everybody talking about. Them. I don't want y'all to think it's just something. <laughs> so, anybody with pins at this moment. I bring, oh, up, yeah. I bring up this final okay. point, and then we're gonna roll into the open mic. Okay. So, uh, black people, especially rap aficionados and people that have been listening to rap forever, we've had rap beef forever. Yeah. So a lot. Uh, I'm not upset because I'm just old and I'm just out of the game. 
But a lot of black folks are just like, how dare you just say you sorry in a rap beef? Yeah. Just the most bitch made <laughs> shit I've ever heard in my life. Never. Yes. Yes. Never. Even, though, even though we know it's not a real beef, y'all not gonna be shooting and fighting no. or whatever. You just said you sorry? Rap <laughs> beef, just take the L. Just take the L, bro. Rap is, like, a, li yeah. rap is a lyrical contact sport. Yeah. It's not so you, you're yeah. you're supposed to be coming at each other. And the thing is, ten years ago, Kendrick was like, "Hey, we cool, but I'm trying I'm trying to murder y'all with these beats, like you know, or with these bars. Uh, yeah. You, you, and you. Like he named people ten years ago. Like this is not new. You know what I mean? Like this is not a new thing. But yeah, like to apologize, I'm not just sit right with my spirit. Like <laughs> yeah, that's what the thing is so soft. How y'all feel right now? This is women's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all all been screaming forever. We need men need to be more sensitive and men need to, to be more in touch with their feelings. But this is the fucking shit that you get when we in touch with our feelings. You got a rapper being like, I'm sorry. Or drink. That's what you get. Everything. Or drinks everything. Everything. So be careful what you ask for. Drake looks like it smell like warm milk. So <laughs> 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 so this has been the comedy forum. Thank you guys for rocking with us. Shout out to John Cena. Come back tomorrow. We're going to be here Friday and Saturday night featuring for us. Shout out wow. to DJ Wonderlust. Yay. She's here every Sunday and most Thursdays rocking it. Um, and thank you guys for rocking with the best podcast you didn't know you needed. The Comedy Forum. Thank yeah. you guys. right into it. Uh, if you haven't signed up for Open Mic back there, we got a long ass list. So I got five minutes on each deal. Um, and then we're going to play the rubber chicken to get y'all off of the stage. Um, and give it up for your host, Joe Brasky. What's up, guys? Hey, my birthday was like not that long ago, so I brought I brought cake for everybody. Yes. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's my underwear. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>